not supposed to be this way. It's a cold, misty morning at Care for Wild, and Patronel is keeping a watchful eye on a special group of orphans. One rhino in particular, Zach, was singled out by a rhino monitor as being slow and lethargic, which is causing everyone concern. Even seasonal changes is playing a big part in their lives. In South Africa at the moment we're going from um, summer into winter, uh, it is late autumn into winter now, and then you'll see your little ones trying to, to cope with what's going on as well. So even if you look at them, they're always a little bit under stress, they're always, for the rest of their lives, a little bit compromised. So it was decided that Zack and his crash would be moved back to the Bomas so they can build up their strength. No water for you. Good place to wake up in the morning. Water, huh? gesuchies! Woo! Wie korte gesuchies! It's ribbon. Yeah. But she found you. She found you. Yo, she found you. <laughs> While the younger orphans are given their fresh, warm bottles of milk, a plan is created to lure the other orphans back. Gates are checked. have your entrances that we need to fix. The bombers are prepared. Water troughs are filled. Um, and beds of hay are made. Like if the rhino that's a bit compromised or cold do have bedding like this grass, their temperatures is higher, up to six degrees higher, just because of the bedding that you use. So sometimes people think the effort it's not worth it. The effort in the rhino is always worth it. Always worth it. And now, the Cave Wild team must test their plan to see if it will work. Are you guys ready? Yes, ready. Okay, and you know them well? Yes. Okay, so careful for, for Fernie. <laughs> and, um, and then we walk them. If we can, careful for the black rhino, but I'll walk with. Fresh grass in Lucerne is used to lure the rhinos back to the bomas. However, it will not be an easy path back to the bomas as Petronel must herd the orphan rhinos through thick bush. We found Zach weird that he's not with his group, but definitely they're not feeling well, you know? And maybe an uh, animal in his group is maybe just causing him to, to run off. <laughs> oh. oh my boy, oh. But soon, careful wild staff have safely navigated the young crash of rhinos out and they are once again on their journey back to the Bomas. After all the rhinos come rushing down the hill, but Zach is still lagging far behind. And this is where we can see he's not doing as well as the others. Going 
well so far. You can see he's with Alpha Energy. The herd is going, they're doing well, the crush in front. And he's coming, he's following. Come Zach, come Zach. That's a good boy, that's a good boy. Come Zach, Zach. Come, come. The purple markings on Zach's back were made by Carefwild staff and will wash off in the first mud bath so they could easily identify and watch him from a distance to ensure they made the right decision in bringing him and the crash back to the Bomas for the cold winter nights. Eventually, Zach meets up with his rhino family back at the Bomas for a well-deserved meal. Here we're standing now, and it was such a success bringing Zach's whole family with me. You know, it's like I lost my mom, but at least I have uh, Ruby Bell, Rosie, Kanya, Fern with me. And that's his family, that's his comfort. Like us as well, you don't feel well, you want your family to be with you, you don't want to be alone. So it's so, such an amazing exercise and such an amazing look to see him here with his friends and with his little family crush.